The Modern IDE plugin for JetBrains IntelliJ is a new powerful tool for developers to work at scale without leaving their flow. Expanding the code scope within the IDE across thousands of repositories enables developers to expand their mental model of the code in real time and make more informed, accurate changes. We're going to configure the IDE to point to the Modern CLI that we've installed locally. Once we've done that, we want to select an organization, which is a group of repositories that represents the business unit that we're working on or that we're interested in studying. In this case, we're selecting the Open Rewrite and Netflix orgs. Together, they represent about 200 repositories. We're not actually cloning the repository. We're just creating a folder for each on disk and then downloading the LST from Modern, effectively from the artifact repository. It's kind of like dependency resolution. Next, let's walk through how to find uses of a method across many repositories. Seeing how an API is used is one of the most common code search tasks. We can just select any method and click Find Usages and just immediately run a find recipe. Now, we're not running this find recipe just on the repository that we have open or even the repository that we have open in its libraries, but rather all of those repositories that we had configured in the multi-repository in the previous step. So right now this is operating on 47 repositories that I don't even necessarily have cloned to my disk. And the search results are coming back into the IDE itself, just as I've done this search on code that I had. When I'm opening these files, I'm looking at examples of their usages of preconditions.check that are not even in the repository I have open. So I still, as a developer, get the same fine usages experience I would get if the code was in the repository that I have open. The IDE isn't burdened with indexing that data, and I'm still able to gain context on all the usages of that API. Finally, let's walk through how to generate a refaster recipe with the plugin. So here I have a main method open, and I just have a simple print lip print line statement. If I wanted to find every usage of print line, I could use this find usages on all repositories. That would of course run on all of these open rewrite repositories, all 47 of them that I've configured as the context to search against. But let's think about refactoring here for a moment. So inside the refactor menu is a create open rewrite recipe menu option. Notice there's a shortcut here as well for it. And I can start by creating a refaster based recipe or a visitor style recipe. Let's do both. So for the refaster recipe, it looks kind of like this. It's going to be a class that has a recipe descriptor. There's a before template and an after template. And the before template is trying to match on a pattern that looks like the code that, that we think we're searching for. So that looks correct. And now the question is, what would I want to make it? So let's say I wanted to just add the word hi to every print line statement. Um, so I'm going to put, provide a name for this recipe. I could say add hi to every print ln. Maybe even put this, make it, you know, because these are marked down, make it actually code fenced here. Um, because we like to greet people, you know, uh, would be maybe the description here, kind of silly, but um, notice there's a run icon here now. So I can say run my recipe, and the run is going to happen on all of these repositories that I've configured in the IDE over here. So we found the first couple occurrences of where there would be actually print line statements in, in this case, the open rewrite rewrite repository. I can open one of these diffs up here and see the change that was made. And sure enough, you know, it's added high to the end of the, the, uh, the method there. Um, this uh, print line statement actually didn't follow the standard uh, for this repository on uh, uh, continuation indenting. So the recipe actually fixed that as well because it was modifying that method statement. Let's look back at the other results here. Yeah, I've got two print line statements here and notice, you know, I've added high to both of them. So 
I'm looking at diffs right now for repositories that I don't even have cloned locally. I've just downloaded their LSTs from Artifactory, whatever the latest LSTs for these 47 repositories that I'm considering to be part of the team that I want to work on. It's basically allowing me to see what the results of this recipe would look like on many repositories before deciding to commit all of them or to ship that change to my teammates to look at. And so each one of these top level entries corresponds to a repository. We have open rewrite rewrite. This is open rewrite, rewrite AI search is another one that didn't have any results. Rewrite analysis did have a sysout statement somewhere. So we're, we're, this is really interesting. It's a refactoring operation that's happening, not just on the code that's in the IDE, but all of the code that I've selected in my target multi-repository. To learn more, be sure to check out our documentation.